Good morning everyone. Um, this morning we are going to be doing uh, three video lessons in one actually. How to start a page on Facebook, how to make a Facebook group, and how to create a fan page on Facebook. Okay, let's get at her. Pitter patter. He's coming right to just facebook.com. Enter your first name and all the rest. email that you want to use. I'm using this one. I already have other accounts. And make yourself a password. Passwords should be, to be honest, it should be uh, capital letters, small letters, and numbers because there are hackers out there. So be careful. Especially Facebook, Twitter hackers. Okay. I am male, obviously, month, August, day, all the way to the bottom. And what year did the Titanic sink? No, it was before that. And sign up. Man, you need to provide your birthday because, well, there are good reasons. And these funny little squiggly lines are called CAPTCHAs. Sometimes they are really hard to figure out. Is that a CI or an A or an O or what is it? I'll shoot for an A. And you can see the capital F. It doesn't matter if it's capital, just type them in all small. Nope, did it wrong. How are you supposed to tell what that says? Well, I'm going to pause this till I get it right. Ah, the next one worked. Cool. Okay, are you, are your friends already on Facebook? Let's just skip this for now. You can come find your friends and stuff later, so we will skip this. Uh, high school, fill this all in if you want. Oops, if you can spell better than I can. Charbot Lake High School. College would be Algonquin. Employer is self, self-employed and loving it, works for me, save and continue, uh, people you may know, skip, okay let's uh, do the upload a photo, okay, I'm going to upload a photo from my desktop, but I'm going to go and find one first. Alrighty, I had to transfer the file from my other computer to this computer through Skype. Skype is a very handy tool. Okay, let's upload a photo. Browse. And it's handy if you save them on your desktop. I actually put a photo of my granddaughter over here. Because she is the reason I'm doing this. And then save and continue. Now you put your email back in here. Email password. Hmm. Hang on a sec. Okay, what happened there is now I must go to uh, my email address to complete the sign up process. And I have my email address transferred right over to my Hotmail account. So, welcome to Facebook. And you can find your friends from here, right from your email account if you want to. And to complete the sign up process, we have to follow this link, so just click on it. And click OK. Now, if you want, you can enter your email and your email address password, and it will bring all of your Facebook friends into, or sorry, all of your friends on your, hot, your Hotmail or email account in to your Facebook account, but I don't want to do that simply because I already have too many accounts, okay? So I'll just go back to where we were. I will skip that step. And I will edit my profile. Current city. Charlotte 
take Ontario, hometown, same. Actually, it's Tipsburn, where hillbillies who live in sticks. I am, and anyway, you can fill up, fill all this stuff in, and it, just click Save Changes, and uh, you can show a birthday in your profile or not, and then you just click and go through all of this stuff one at a time. Okay. Now you just go to your home page and wall. This is what people will see when they come to your, your Facebook page. So that is step one. So I'm going to pause for a second and we'll get into the next lesson. Okay, and this lesson is how to make a Facebook group. I logged out of that account because this is for after you uh, actually have friends because you have to bring your friends into your group right so once you get to your page after you have friends just click on this Facebook link and you'll see right down here you click on more and you click create group and we will call it free internet marketing training course which is what we are and then it will ask you which friends do you want to add to your group and you can have your group as a closed group or an open group if you have it as an open group anybody can join and a lot of people really don't get how to use Facebook properly what they will do is they will spam the heck out of your group so my suggestion to you would be a closed group but I'm going to create an open group just simply because contacts are nice members all you have to do is start typing in their names I'm going to actually add myself and nobody else because you can see how many accounts I have I don't want to bother my other friends that I already have in my real groups I already added that John that's good enough you get the idea you can add as many of your friends as you want now all of my friends are going to see that I just created another group but that's how simple it is to create a group on Facebook alright now I'm going to come back shortly with another lesson how to create a Facebook fan page